At the ripe age of 16, Laura got her first job working at Cold Stone Creamery, scooping ice cream for other ice cream lovers like herself. She made many friends while working as a professional ice cream scooper, but there was one friend who rose above the rest. This one tall, dark and handsome employee had been working at the store for a while already and had clearly earned the spot of favorite employee from the owners. Fairly quickly, the star employee took notice of my beautiful sister and requested a date with her. Laura kindly turned him down. <laughs> Despite Laura's steadfast claims that they were nothing but friends, I could see the way this young man looked at her. And after what seemed to me like a very long time, he decided he would take another shot at asking her out. And after watching a movie and undoubtedly sharing some ice cream, the great love story before you began. So when Chase told me that he found the woman that he wanted to marry, I, I was excited. I mean, I was, I was ecstatic for both of them. It was great. When he told me, he sent me a list along with that saying the reason why he loved Laura so much. The first one was that Laura loves God more than anything. And that's, that's important for Chase to know. And then the next thing Chase said was that he couldn't imagine life without her. And the last part was that I love this, that Chase admitted that Laura was just way out of his league. And that she was the most beautiful woman he has ever seen. And so that, that really stuck with me because in that short list that he sent, he, he encompassed years of friendship, years of love that they had for each other. It's a goal of a lifetime. I mean, anyone would want to have whatever it is that they have. A new command I give you, love one another. As I have loved you, so you must love one another, and by this, everyone will know you're my disciples, if you love one another. When that was originally written in the Greek, there were more than one uh, way to talk about love. There was three main ways to, to speak of love. There were three terms for love, and they all meant different things and different kinds of love. And agape is this selfless, this sacrificial kind of love this kind of love that is so extreme and so intense, it always considers the other person before yourself. When you commit to loving yourself in this kind of way, in this agape, in this selfish kind of way, two things really happen. Number one, your marriage becomes strong. You become airtight. Your, your trust for each other is unmatched. You easily overlook flaws and imperfection and ultimately your marriage benefits. And the second thing is you become an example to others. You become a witness to others by how you treat each other. People notice that there's something different about you. There's something attractive about you and people want to know your secret. So my only real piece of advice today is to love each other in an agape kind of a way.
first a toast to my daughter, Laura. She was indeed a gift from God, and we will always be grateful for the honor of having been your parents. We have loved and lived more deeply because of you and what you have brought to our lives. And to you, Chase, today we are giving you the best we have to offer, our daughter. And we do so with great comfort as we know she is receiving a wonderful gift as well. And we couldn't have picked a better son. And a toast to your marriage. Our greatest wish for you as the years go by is that your love will deepen. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May God smile upon and gift you. May his grace shine upon you forever.